This weekend is the last chance to step back in time at Lincoln Castle and experience what were some of the worst jobs in Victorian Britain. Visitors will get the chance to meet a whole host of Victorian costume characters on their walk around the prison, which will take them back to 1848. I'm Peter Moore. I'm Henry Hairy Face Johnson, the Tosher. I'm Kate Vigers and I'm playing Polly Brunton, the fishwife. My name's Peter and uh, I represent a chap called William Clark, who was a murderer condemned to death in 1878. It's a hands-on um, event if you like. Um, I'm also a castle guide and um, I take people around the inside of the castle and the history of the castle is fascinating. Um, it's also amusing and almost unbelievable. Within the prison here it gives people an insight into how people lived in those days. So your day begins at half... Open from 10.30 to 3.45 there will be talks from chimney sweepers rat catchers and fishwives, as well as an arts and crafts area for any young ones. Get up, get up, get up. And you get up and you come to me for breakfast. So what do those attending the event think of this historical show? Well, they're good because, it, like, instead of just having it on like a sign, they're actually telling you and they're all dressed up, which makes it fun. We've all learned things that we didn't know um, obviously happened. I mean, it's down the road from us, so for it to be so local and for it to be so accessible to all ages was really good. Um, obviously, I've got my 10-year-old and my 3-year-old. They've both found it engaging for different reasons. The people that were acting um, gave so many facts and it really engaged them in the story. Obviously, they looked very realistic and sounded really realistic and the props that they used were really good and it's just, it's great. I mean, we've been here for a couple of hours now and it feels like we've only been here for sort of 10 minutes. Actors at the castle, such as Kate Vigers, who plays Polly Brunton, the fishwife, believe their work helps others to understand the era better and learn quickly about the lives of the past. I think immersive learning is really important. So while our characters wouldn't necessarily be found in a prison, we're really bringing to life Victorian England and putting the prison into some sort of context. And the same with the other performances that we've done here. Um, the thing we did at Halloween, um, the Knights of Victorian Terror, just brings the place to life and it helps people learn in a different way. They learn without realising they're learning. And it's entertaining, it's educational, and it's all just good fun for everybody. It isn't difficult to see that it's events like this which helped Lincoln Castle achieve its gold standard.